Hey guys, it's Brad. It's been 11 and a half weeks since my distal biceps tendon repair surgery, my dominant arm. 12 and a half weeks since completely ripped it off the forearm bone. That's why we call it a complete rupture. Um, and actually, it's already a couple days after this uh, workout, and I went to see the surgeon for like my final release and sign off. Um, I have another video talking about that. Go check out the distal bicep tendon rupture update or whatever that playlist is called um, and more information there. So uh, this is week, we're starting week two of um, my 2024 programming. This is day, day one of week two and it's snatch day. Um, I've already posted a short of my top single for this day. So let's uh, get into the workout and see what's going on. So these are my warm-up moves, and I do three rounds of 10 reps each. And I was not paying attention, but I assume these were high pulls, back squats, and snatch grip behind the neck press. And again, that was three rounds, 10 reps each. Let's see what we got next. Next is like a position primers type thing where you're you're getting into positions and, and feeling what it's going to feel like. And we have the tall muscle clean. So tall just means you're standing up when you do it. Muscle clean just means you're just pulling the weight up, and pushing it up. And I did three, three reps of that. And now we're about to get three uh, press and snatch. Yep, I, I call it press and snatch. I think there's another word for it I've, I've forgotten. And then three snatch balances. And uh, then I did, I was supposed to do five rounds of that. I ended up only doing three sets of that. Uh, I'm gonna look at my warm up numbers and position primer numbers. Uh, make sure I don't get too worn out before I get to my skill work, which is here. And the skill work were singles of tempo snatch. And so what, you're, what you'll see me doing here, last week we did no foot. This week we're doing tempo snatch with like a two count or a three count from the floor to knee and then explode. So it's like one, two, bang. Or one, two, three, bang. And that's the tempo for this tempo snatch. Uh, and it, it teaches patience and position coming off of the floor, which I am very bad at both. Uh, let's give our big screen shout out to Eric at Yogi doing burpees in his basement or just a Yogi doing burpees in his basement. Something about Yogi doing burpees in his basement. I'm going to tag him in the description. You guys go check him out. Uh, he does a lot of uh, burpees. <laughs> he does a lot of pull-ups. Um, he does a lot of sharing thoughts and insights on um, yoga philosophy. Uh, and, and as such, it, it, it gets into uh, Hindu philosophy. Uh, he has been doing a lot of uh, controlled breathing lately. And, and teaching, like not doing, but like talking about practicing and demonstrating different types of breathing uh, in his videos. And then he's also a writer and he has live streams. He's got shorts. He's got talks where he, he talks about some piece of philosophy or he reads his writing. Uh, really great guy. Very interesting dude. Go check him out. Don't okay. 
<laughs> I was just goofing around. I, I had to stop talking and, and listen to that. That's that's pretty funny. Uh, I, I was just goofing around. Anyways, we are at uh, the full movement. It's a bunch of snatch singles. <laughs> if you guys have already seen the short, um, I snatched 165 pounds this day. Uh, it was a really high power snatch. Uh, I tend to do that when my uh, knees start hurting, and my left knee was giving me a little a little bit of problem today. Uh, last week I hit 150. Uh, next week I'm going to drop down a lot lighter and slowly start working back up. So these first two weeks is really about testing the arm, seeing what it's comfortable with. Worked up to 165 pound snatch this week. Uh, I think my PR all-time record is either 205 or 210, so we're, we're still a bit away from that. Um, 165 moved pretty good uh, but like I said I, I power snatched it I caught way above parallel and actually I just did that previously so go back and watch it <laughs> now I'm doing my uh, five sets of five overhead squat with 50% of whatever I hit that day and that's the workout uh, we we still need to do the video where we look at week one talk about what we think and what we're gonna end up doing moving forward so let me know what you think in the comments below. Keep training, and I'll see you in the next video.